So I recently did a video on some Cool Moon fans. They were 120 millimeter fans with that were RGB, and I thought they were pretty good actually. They were really stably built, really super quiet, and they give you lots of different settings. And I decided to go and buy some more. Now these are the ones that I bought, and I bought a bigger box this time, so there should be six fans in this one. But what I found when I opened it was that the fans were slightly different. Now I'm not sure how Cool Moon do their branding or whether they have different types of fans. They do seem to have the numbers across the boxes but they're never ticked when you uh, look at them. Uh, and they're never really named when you buy them so it's kind of potluck really on what you're going to get. Now if we open these up You'll see that they are slightly different in design to the original ones that I had. Now the original ones that I had had a halo system around the fan, but these ones don't. So they're slightly different. Now I did order the halo ones, but these were the ones that actually turned up. And I'm going to keep them because I think they'll suit a different type of build later on. So when you open the box you get a quick instruction manual which literally only tells you about the remote control and the RGB settings, a bit of a uh, description about where they can fit in your system and how to plug in your controller, so it's all pretty straightforward really. You've got the six fans that came out of the system. Now you can buy these in different sized systems. Um, but I've ordered the six one because I generally find that I use three fans and then I'm stuck with one or two if you've bought a four or five set and this way I'll have three and three and I've managed to buy separate controllers so I don't need to worry about controlling the extra three because I've got a set of spare controller and that's one of the good things about these systems because you can buy the extra controllers this is the controller that comes with them. Unfortunately, it does have a Molex and not a SATA, but that's not too bad. You could always cut that off and put a uh, SATA on it if you really wanted to. And the controller itself, just like the controller for the other ones, and I believe the controllers are exactly the same through any set that you get. You've got 10 places for your fans and two places for LED strips which you can get, and I've actually plugged in one of the M.2 LED drive coolers into these strips as well. And obviously you get the remote. Now the fan, I don't think these are built as well as the Halo system. And I think it's because they're, they're quite flexible around the edges because there's not much thickness around it. But the actual system is pretty much the same. and they're just as quiet and just as bright as the other ones that you will get. Now, I've used these in a few demos, videos that I've made, and they, they are pretty bright, they do light up quite well. There's not a lot of play in the fans at all, so the quality is there. I think it's just the shroud system that they've actually cut back on. It's exactly the same wiring as all the other Cool Moon stuff. It's a proprietary plug, but it is simply a 3A RGB lighting system and then a 3 pin for powering the actual fan itself. That does mean that you can't plug them directly into a motherboard header for either the lighting or the fan speed so you do need the remote to be able to control that which you can do on the remote so you've got modes for different lights and you've got speed control here. Now that's actually pretty good for a lot of the uh, budget builds out there because a lot of the budget motherboards don't come with um, RGB headers on them. So this gives you a separate way of being able to control them. And one of the cool things that I have found is that you can install multiple controllers so you can set different lights up of different colours. So that's not bad either. But what we'll do is we'll get this plugged in and we'll show you how bright they are and the patterns that you can get from them. I've got my... Uh, external power supply ready and uh, an existing controller this is a controller that I bought separate I've peeled the sticker off and what it actually gives you is a, another mini LED strip really that you can use in your system so it's plugged in via Molex got the controller, flick the power on 
they start to light up. So as you can see on these ones, the difference really from the halo system is that the LEDs are in the middle. This probably gives you less LEDs because obviously it's a smaller circle. Um, but it doesn't affect the brightness really. I think it's just coming from a different direction. In the light, you can't see it that well, to be honest. I mean, there's light there, but I think behind a tinted panel, it would look a lot better. But in the dark, they do highlight up very well. So if I just tweak the lights, you'll be able to see how bright they can actually be. So that's just on a bit of a rainbow setting at the moment. Your remote control does give you a lot of options. I believe there's about 366 different presets, which you can actually scan through and customize to the build that you've got. You can set it to uh, static colors and go through them. The only issue I find with these fans, to be honest, is the fact that the sides aren't blacked out. So if you're fitting the lights in a system where you can see the sides, so maybe through the side panel, you're going to be able to see the light through the sides here quite extensively, really. Um, that could be good for some systems, um, not for the build that I originally purchased these for, so I am ordering some others. But like I've said before, I'm going to keep these ones for something else. They're pretty quiet. There's actually no noise coming off this at all, and I believe this is on one of its fastest settings. We'll see if the box tells us what that is. So these go up from a 0 to 1300 RPM, which is more than enough to be able to move some air, keep the flow going through your system. Just as a representation, I'll get a piece of paper and we'll show you how the paper moves underneath it. That's not bad airflow, and you can imagine multiple of these in your case, you're going to get it through quite well. If you do find that they are a little bit loud, the remote control does give you that option to slow them down. And you can also stop them with the remote control, so they will stop. The LEDs will keep going, but the fans themselves will stop. And because they're running from the controller box, they'll all act exactly the same. Now if you do want to set the fans up with different colours, different fan speeds, that kind of thing, you can use multiple controller boxes. You can just string together the Molexes and set each box up separately. Now I have noticed that the remote control affects all of them. So what you're going to have to do is disconnect one, set the other one up, disconnect it, set the other one up. They remember the settings, then plug them all in, click the on button and they'll all come on with whatever you've configured. It's not brilliant, but you can get it to to work. So that's these fans. For the money they're not bad. I paid £25 for all six of these fans and an extra £6 for the other controller. So you're looking at about £30, just over £30 for six fans, two controllers. That's obviously two remote controls as well. That's not bad considering a lot of the higher end fans are, well they can be about £20 each. So you're getting quite of a bargain here. Um, with quality wise, I mean, you've got the rubber feet and things like that, so they have thought about lots of things. You get all the screws to be able to fit it as well. I'm just not as impressed with the side walling as I was with others, um, but I suppose how often do you uh, touch the side walling of a fan once it's fit in the case? If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe. I've ordered some other fans for the build that I was doing and once they turn up they're slightly different to these same cool moon brand but they're different to these once they've turned up I'll do a video on them too and show the differences between these and them they have got a bit of a halo system on them but they're a little bit more unique even to the first ones that I reviewed um, and make sure you hit like on this video if you like the demonstration so that I know to do more